Let me explain the usage method of rewriter followed by the refrigerator's unified compressor replacement. The linear compressor is operated under software control and the software is written on main PCB. Each compressor model has its own genuine PCB control software. Therefore, the PCB software should be replaced when replacing the compressor with a different model's compressor. The component of refrigerator's unified compressor consists of a compressor, PTC cover, and capacitor. When the compressor is ordered, the delivered compressor box contains a compressor and PTC cover, but no capacitor. So a separate request for capacitor should be made. The software update needed label attached on the compressor means that PCB software update is required when replacing the compressor with a different model's compressor. The parts of rewriter consists of a rewriter, SD card, harness, and manual. The early supplied rewriter will have the SD card with PCV software already inserted. Also, the manual is offered as a guide to use the rewriter. As stated in the previous notice, Replacing the compressor with the unified compressor sometimes requires using a rewriter to update the PCB software. For example, the PCB software update is not necessary when replacing the compressor with the identical one. However, the PCB software must be updated when replacing FC150 NBMA with FLC 150 NAMA. The replacement model can be checked in the service bulletin. Let me explain the repair process. Upon receiving a repair transfer request from an agent, first check the refrigerator model name, serial number, and the compressor model built inside the refrigerator. After checking the information, prepare software rewriter if the compressor is the target of program replacement. When ready, turn on software rewriter to check the firmware version. The version should match the final version updated from GSCS. Next, check the target compressor program of replacement and the target capacitor of replacement. If there are no firmware and compressor program, you can download them on GSCS. When replacing the compressor, follow the order of the installation guide that comes inside the rewriter box. Now, let me show the actual method of PCB software update based on refrigerator's unified compressor replacement. First, unplug the refrigerator. Second, check if the SD card is inserted properly. Third, set the deep switch. Turn off number 1 and number 4 in deep switch and turn on number 2 and number 3. Fourth, remove the PCB cover. Fifth, check the type of PCB connector, CON202, to insert the appropriate cable to the rewriter. It is important to check if the letter of the PCB connector is TX or VCC. Connect A type cable to TX and B type cable to VCC. If there is no port letter printed on PCB, connect A type cable first. If it fails to perform writing, 
try connecting with a B-type cable. Since no letter is printed on the connector, connect A-type cable first. Six. Turn on the rewriter. The firmware version is displayed once turned on. Seventh. Press the button once to check the checksum. The final message will be displayed in Panasonic. It takes one to two minutes. Note that the MyCom name is displayed in either Toshiba or Panasonic. Eighth, press the button again and read the replacement compressor model name on display. Check the replacement compressor model name. Ninth, press the button once. The PCB software will be automatically updated. The final message of Upgrade Complete and Check Some Match will be displayed alternately. Once the complete message is displayed, turn off the rewriter and remove the cable. Tenth, replace the capacitor. The capacitor type can be checked in the service bulletin. Eleventh, replace the compressor. For replacement, remove the PTC cover and harness of the previous compressor. Connect the previous harness to the new black PTC cover from the side to finish the assembly. Check the installation guide that comes inside the box for further replacement details. Once all steps are completed, plug in the refrigerator and check for normal operation. Here are the solutions to problems that might arise. When the rewriter freezes and says searching for more than three minutes or MCU name is displayed repeatedly, the cause of this problem is the connector failure. In this case, remove the connector and reconnect. Check the contact condition and rerun the PCB software update. When there are error messages such as 
SD card error insert and no MVF file check and no match zero times multiple zeros are displayed with a warning sound, the cause would be the file error and SD card connection error. In this case, check if the hex and MVF files are saved in SD card and check if the SD card is connected properly. Then rerun the PCB software update. If the connector falls out or power outage occurs during the update, switch to manual mode and rewrite. Here are the measures when no match error occurs. Turn off the rewriter and turn on all deep switch settings. Next, turn on the rewriter. When the power is on, a direct mode REF message is displayed. Next, press the button once. Note that every time the button is pressed, the stored model name in SD card is displayed in the storing order. Therefore, short press the button until the replacement compressor model name appears. Then, long press the button for more than 3 seconds to confirm the replacement compressor model name. Next, slowly press the button twice in a row. Then, the PCB software will be automatically updated and the final Upgrade Complete message is displayed. Turn off the rewriter and remove the cable.